Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying Crazy Monsters over here. It's a crazy monster world. Oh! I fought these things. I know what they are. Come over here and Shot! Shot! I don't know that. Hey! No! Couple of health packs. As many shotgun shells and phosphorus shells as you can possibly want. Alright, let's haste. <laughs> you know, considering how much I use this ability, I should amplify it some. There we go. Haste is gonna amplify. <laughs> Jammed. Well, there's definitely. You can hear it. It's up. It's up there, I think. Probably. There's an amplifier around here somewhere. That shield scared me. Okay, so that doesn't appear to be how you play it. Really? Oh, oh man, I was gonna. Oh. Kinda need a way up. Why is there no like staircase in this house? Oh. Wait, it says to look. I hear you, I'm seeing. Are you crazy evil Bethany? What was I supposed to see? Oh, Jaw. Go away. I have the power. Okay, so. Legitimately, though, how do I get up there? Oh, look, the door opened. This spell makes them pretty easy to handle. The skull storm is honestly way too good. Stuck. Alright, well, you know. Thought. Oh my god. Ow! 
a lot better if you have a shield up. It's harder to hurt yourself with it. You don't really want to hurt yourself if you can help it, you know? Any of these actually books? No? Okay. But, new journal entries, so. What is this? Bethany has hidden a human jawbone beneath the floorboards. It seems unthinkable that a family could visit such atrocities upon each other. But from what I've learned, I suspect that this is Aaron's. It's no wonder his ghost is so restless. This grim trophy may be a key to quelling his spirit. Maybe. Just spawn, but I'm running <laughs> with a oh crap. <laughs> That's a big one, isn't it? another one too see it god there's a lot of things no okay let's go back Do gotta go back to his room. Don't know if there's a fast way or not. That door opened. <sighs> oh god. What do you want? Why haven't you left? It won't end. The clock won't stop for you. Fate has little use for those blind to the grand design. What? What grand design are you talking about? Where'd he go? There he is. Nope, nope, nope. Won't budge. Stuck. That door's stuck too. Did you stop. You little derpy kid. You're like, Wah! I'm gonna fly around as a zombie. Hey look, I know this room. We're close. We're close now. Oops, there he is again. Being all, I'm gonna stop ya. And stuff. I don't know why though. No way. Stop! It's actually kind of creepy. Oh! Uh. Oh god! What just happened? What just happened? I'm very confused. Why are all of these doors like already open? Ow! Oh man. Ow, ow, ow. Ether 
trap won't fit here, really. Come on now. Let's not play that game. The trap won't fit. Here. Jammed. Alright, well that's the wrong way. Oh way. Almost out of those. I'm gonna have to start running from him in a little bit. Slow and derpy way. Jammed. Okay. I have no idea where this key actually is used at. Won't budge. I just know that this game won't let me go the wrong way, really. I do appear to be out of my league. Ugh. Ugh. What the heck? That was not very kind at all in any way, shape, or form. Okay, Tuesday. An interesting letter arrived today. It seems that my search for like minds might have been halted prematurely. He calls himself Otto Kasinger. Curiously, I have never tried to contact him. How he got my name, I have no idea, but I must admit my curiosity is piqued. I am going to have to be careful with this one. I can't let him know the extent of my knowledge. He might see me as a threat and even steal what will rightfully be mine. If I can play to his ego and vanity, do all Magus have this flaw? I will quicken my learning. He talks of Onerios. I have found reference to an ancient city among my father, father's books. Supposedly, it was destroyed in a magical cataclysm. He claims to have been there. He may be another fool like Crowley, but if not, I need his knowledge and help. I am ready to make sacrifices for such knowledge. Perhaps with the right ruse, that will not be necessary. Thursday. Damn this man. He teases me. Placates me by teaching me parlor tricks. I have little patience for this, but if he were to know the extent of my knowledge, he would certainly end our correspondence. He treats me like a toy or a child. I want to complete this. This house is becoming a trap. I don't belong here anymore. I have to take the next step. I must learn what Kasinger knows. Where the hell are all these rats coming from? Sunday. I discovered that Otto lives in England. Perhaps I will have to pay him a visit. Bethany. Okay. I was gonna say, this is pretty dark. But it's because it was gonna load in. Hey, rat buddies. No, bad rat buddy. We've been through this before, rat buddies. This is kind of grim. God, Aaron, stop! Why are you being so mean? I gave you your draw back. I gave you your draw back. Don't be mean. Alright, fine. When you're fighting a zombie, there's only one thing you can do. Let's set it on fire! That's actually generally a bad idea, because then your zombie's just on fire. Instead of... Instead of just a zombie, now it's a burning zombie. Not necessarily a good idea. I feel like you want to hit him when he falls over. Not when he's got the shield up. Ow. 
How do I get him to fall over? Oh, he fell over again. Oh. He does seem to have some kind of shield. Some kind of shielding device, you could say. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be working too well either. Okay, so... Oh. Oh, I cut his arm off. Oh! Head just came off. <laughs> what? Really? He fainted? Really? Sleep well, Irishman. You didn't actually like fall asleep. <laughs> wow. Very, very confused. I'm apparently in another world right now. Because I can fly. Oh, oh no likes you. Whatever you are, no one likes you. Some healing boots. Guessing that those are my healing packs. The worms await you. They do, do they? I greet you, Patrick, my brother's crusading hero. I have brought you to my realm of eternal autumn, where I rule with unquestioned authority. I have watched you one, one by, one by you. One by one. Oh. Gosh, my reading. Sorry, I'm super bad. One by one, you have destroyed my sister and brothers. You even defeated the vile Kaysinger. I find it ironic that he who thought himself a mighty enough magician to kill me, the betrothed of the greatest of kings, was bested by a pitiful mortal like yourself. Not only you and I, now only you and I are left. I do not fear you, for I have more power than any of my siblings could ever have dreamed of. Come to me if you dare, and die a mortal's death. Bethany. Okay. I'll do that then. Stop that. You're done. basically be about the scythe. Just kind of just cut everything up. Oh, monsters. Ow. Ow. Monster. A spear gun. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. 
when we come back, not doing that. <laughs> wow, that was derpy. All right, when it happens, it happens, and I will see you all then. Have a good one.